Dear Matthew, I cannot believe our wedding day is finally here. We've come so far from meeting at schoolyard, but I still remember you walking into the bar and knowing immediately that I wanted to talk to you. Eileen, I feel so lucky to be able to call you my wife. You show me overwhelming love and patience, you make me laugh, and you constantly help me believe in myself. Today we take the next big step of our life, and I couldn't ask for a better partner. Now today we make our love official, surrounded by all of our loved ones, and I am so excited. I cannot believe I found someone I can be with myself completely, whose love and patience is unmatched. I have so much fun with you, and I love how silly we can be together. There's nobody I'd rather have by my side, and nothing that we cannot do. I love you. you did. Eddie Vedder said it best, hail, hail the lucky ones. I refer to those in love. We, your family and friends, gather here collectively as one to show our love and support for you as you begin your marriage and enter your lives together. We're here to celebrate love, of course the love between the couple, but also the love that's between all of us. Love is our connection. It's God's gift to us. He made us that way, stamped it on our hearts that we would care for one another so deeply with such devotion. Is there anything quite like love? May we treasure it always. To love is not to possess, to own, or imprison, nor to lose oneself in another. Love is to join and separate, to walk alone and together, it is to be perfectly oneself and perfectly joined in permanent commitment to another and to one's inner self. I have had the privilege of watching Eileen grow into the incredible woman that she is today. First and foremost, she is fiercely loyal to those that she cares about. She's always there to support you in times of need, but celebrate when it's time to celebrate as well. I really do believe that Matt and Eileen aren't just bride and groom, they're also best friends. Um, and so I am appreciative of Matt because you love our girl in a way that has changed her life for the better. I came from a family of three brothers and I knew what it took to be a man. And Matt, frankly, was coddled by his four sisters. And I always saw Matt as just a giant of a human, right? The tall guy. No matter what was going down, we always knew that that guy was right there behind us. The absolute most important thing that we all wish for our children is that they're happy. So on that count, I want to thank Steve and Deb Conrad for raising such a wonderful young man who makes my baby girl so happy. May what God has joined together let nothing separate. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride, 